Mike thinks as a coach and player and broadcaster that you've seen everything, right? So no scrimmages, no inner squad practices, uh, no single snaps for anybody. Who does that affect more offense? Like what are we like tonight when you watch tonight, chiefs, Texans, who's going to look worse, the offense or the defense? Well, I think it obviously affects the offense. You know, it, it, it's just, uh, I, I think, you know, you can get out there, you can run, you see, you, re, you read and react on defense. You know what you're doing on defense. Uh, the offense doesn't know how you can set them. I think, it, I honestly, forget offense and defense. I think special teams is the one area, think about this. It's a third of the game, but nobody gives a crap. Until something bad happens. So, so, so the kicker goes over four. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Why I but over but four? there has not been one live. You can't. You cannot replicate in practice uh, covering a kickoff in the National Football League. It's just you can't do it. The speed, the collisions, how fast everybody moves, uh, the angles, the the returns. You just can't do it. Um, and and you know kickers kickers are fragile. Mm. Okay. Hank, I've been, I've been, sorry, I've, stop with. <laughs> I've been saying this for a long time. I've been ridiculed for this. I'm known as the victory lapper on the show. And I think Joe Burrow is going to be terrible. I think Joe Burrow is going to be hot garbage and not just a single year. I believe he's, he may be the biggest quarterback bust quite possibly since uh, uh, the kid Oakland drafted. Who wasn't just the the fat kid. Jamarcus Uh, Russell. Jamarcus Russell. I believe Joe Burrow is going to be in that territory. Why? I, that's just me personally. Why? Because – what you say? Why? Because Joe Burrow was invisible the year before he blew up. When he blew up, they had a new offensive coordinator. They had a new scheme. He had the best players, had the best coaches. All those guys are pros going against guys who may never sniff a practice squad. And we want to lift Joe Burrow up and carry him off to feel like he's Rudy. JB, I, JB, do you, know I, where, do you know where Joe Burroughs was before LSU? Ohio State. Yeah, he was a teammate of Joey Bosa. Yeah, but he Which, got beat. He was, also, he was also out there getting beat out of a job. Like, right, he got right. beat out of but a job here, by a here, freshman. Here, here's the thing, John. I think, you know, we're all talking – I think that the pressure is not so much on, on – uh, Joe Burrow, who has been elected a captain as a rookie, which is crazy. Which is amazing. Oh, no and by the way, he's a Scott, how on about this one? One cap that goes out for the coin toss. You have six, right? Only one are going to be allowed out for the coin toss. Another COVID thing. Um, but I think, I think the pressure's on Zach Taylor. Uh, you know, the second-year head coach who went 2-14 and 14 last year. You know, he's got a – the way he game plans and handles this young quarterback, who's obviously very talented – I think the pressure's on him. I think they've got to run Joe Mixon. Uh, I think they've got to get the tight ends involved. And I think there are ways you can pre- protect a young quarterback. Is and A.J. Then, Green healthy? Then, pardon me? Is A.J. Green healthy? A.J. Green is healthy is that, for the first time in three years, yeah. I mean, so, dude, when you, so, got a, you know, when you got a rookie quarterback and you got someone like that, that's a safety blow. Well, you got Tyler Boyd. You know, you, he's got some weapons at, at wide receiver. And Mixon's a great running back. To me, the biggest, the biggest matchup, in this whole game, we're going to talk about all these guys. It it might it might be the the left tackle of Cincinnati Bengals, Jonah Williams. Everybody's going who? Well, he was he was last year's number one pick, number eleven overall, left tackle. He was going to be the franchise guy, right? And and he didn't play because of a shoulder injury. It might be that guy against Melvin Ingram and Joey Bosa. So. You know, it, it, to me, the pressure's on Zach Taylor. Look, at you go two and fourteen. I get it. Never been a head coach. I get it. Uh, but but I mean, he's my you age. better show improvement, and you better manage this young quarterback. 